so hello guys and welcome back so today we are going to take on a question from math explorers once again so i hope you have seen the question in the thumbnail and you can see it on the screen right now also so this question was a really good question i like this so i had to bring it on so guys if you want to try out this question then you can do so no other words i have to say today like really good question so please try out your best just try this question out i will wait for a few seconds and then i will start off solving this okay guys so i hope it's time for us to solve this so right now i have some empty space here i know you can see that but still i am like not suitable to write so i hope you have like noted down all the credentials in this question so guys i will change the screen and go below okay so our some things were given first thing is s2 we will deal with s1 later on because the first question in this paragraph deals with s2 s3 so let's deal with s1 later on which is in the next question okay so s2 is the sigma k equals to 1 to infinity and this thing is your 3k plus 7 by n power k so actually if i sort of break this thing then i can write this as your like 3 will be a constant so 3 i take it out sigma i'm sorry not n k equals to 1 to infinity 3 by no, sorry not 3 k by n power k yeah and after that you will have a sigma k equals to 1 to infinity 7 by n power k okay so guys this is the like breakup of the sigma and let's leave it like this we will later on deal with this okay we will try to write down now s3 also in a similar fashion and then i will tell you what to do so s3 was given to be your k equals to 1 to infinity 7k plus 3 by n power k right so this thing will be 7 times your k equals to 1 to infinity k by n powered k plus sigma k equals to 1 to infinity 3 by n power k okay so that's the breakdown guys and like to proceed from here we are going to use two standard results so first i will write them down in terms of x and after that we will replace x with 1 by n okay so i hope all of you know these results very basic okay for modulus x less than 1 sigma k equals to 1 to infinity x power k i hope i don't have to explain anything of this this is x by 1 minus x right and actually if you do a ddx on this equation i mean differentiate this particular equation then and also like not only differentiate after differentiating whatever result you will give uh, get i hope you have to multiply one x also okay so after doing that you will get this sigma k equals to 1 to infinity like it's ba really basic stuff okay so i am not going too much into how it is coming i just told you this step k x power k will be equal to x by 1 minus x whole square okay you can pretty simply like see this thing is differentiated okay because 1 minus x whole square is present so it gives you a hint anyways i have already told you that so guys we are going to use these two expressions here like you will see if we replace your x with 1 by n then these two expressions become sigma k equals 1 to infinity 1 by n power k this thing becomes equal to 1 by n minus 1 and your sigma like i'm replacing x everywhere with 1 by n okay and this thing is sigma k equals to 1 to infinity k by n power k so this thing becomes n by n minus 1 whole square nice so like you can see right now we can now easily substitute these in s2 and s3 so if we write that s2 becomes 3 times of your n by n minus 1 whole square plus 7 by n minus 1 
and your S3 becomes 7n by n minus 1 whole square plus of your 3 by n minus 1. Okay. These are the expressions for S2 and S3. So, guys, like it was given that limit n is tending to infinity, and I hope this was given S3 by S2. Right. So, like pretty simple because everything has come in terms of n. Limit n tends to infinity. To actually do this, it's S3 by S2, right? So, do one thing. Don't go into like manipulating this and all. It's pretty easy. Just do what I am doing. 7 and take 1, I guess, this is n square, okay? So, just do this. Or wait, maybe this thing would be a little confusing. Okay, let's simplify this. Just for a single step while leave the confusion, okay? So this will be your n minus 1 whole square. And your denominator becomes, I hope you understand, 3n. And this thing is 7 times n minus 1. So 7n minus 7. So this is 10n minus 7 by n minus 1 whole square. And obviously here also you would have n minus 1 whole square. And if we evaluate this, this is I guess 7n plus 3n. So 10n again. And 1 minus 3 will be here. Okay. So guys, actually this limit would come out to be, I guess, 10n minus 3 by your 7, I'm sorry, not 7, 10n minus 7. So its limit n tends to infinity. So you will divide both numerator and denominator with n. So basically constants have no significance. So it's 10 by 10. So this becomes 1. And I guess this was your option number C. So first question's answer becomes option number C. Okay. So now let's proceed on to the second question. Okay, so second question basically is asking us a lot of things about S1. So maybe S1 is of that importance and we need to find out what S1 kind of is. Okay, so let's try. S1 was given to be your sigma n equals 1 to 2, 0, 2, 0. And this thing is n into 1 square by 1 plus n plus of your 2 square by 2 plus n plus dot 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 till your 2 0 2 0 square by 2 0 2 0 plus n. So you can pretty simple understand we can actually write this as sigma n equals to 1 to 2 0 2 0 and if I want to introduce one more sigma inside so this will actually become your sigma k equals to 1 to 2 0 2 0 and this thing would become n k square by your n plus k okay okay so up till here things are pretty cool but thing is how do we actually simplify this okay so guys here i am actually going to apply a trick so for that i will write a very small statement maybe this will help you to understand so n and k run over the same range which is your 1 to 2 0 2 0 with all integers included right so replacing n i mean wait replacing would be a bad name here so, like so n interchanged with k okay right it like that n interchanged with k will be the same sum relabeled okay like my basic fundamental thing i'm trying to tell is you can write s1 because see these sigmas are actually n equals to 1 and k equals to 1, right? So if you actually interchange these two sigmas, then you actually have to interchange the variables inside. So basically that becomes the same sum, which means your sigma n equals to 1 to 2, 0, 2, 0. Sigma k equals to 1 to 2, 0, 2, 0. Like I know these two sigmas would be back and forth, but still, okay, it's perfectly fine. So this thing will be k n square by n plus k or k plus n like same thing okay that's the actually basic funda i used here so guys after this if i add up these two equations then 2s1 would 
बिकम इक्वल टू सिग्मा k equals to our weight, not k first. I will write n equals to one first. Two zero two zero. Sigma k equals to one two two zero two zero, and this thing would become your n k square by n plus k multiplied by. I mean, sorry, not multiplied. Added with k n square by n plus k. Okay. So guys, if you kind of just simplify a little bit inside the bracket, this thing would become sig. I will write this down. Sigmas will be obviously same. If you simplify this thing, this would actually come out to be n k into n plus k whole divided by n plus k. So your n plus k and n plus k actually get cancelled. So actually, if you see, this thing has come out to be s one has come out to be equal to half. Into sigma n equals to one to two zero two zero. I will separate the sigmas with their respective variables into separate brackets. Okay, and this thing will be your sigma k equals to one to two zero two zero k. So actually, this thing, if you evaluate, this would actually come out to be s one equal to this thing is like you can understand, right? It is two zero two zero into two zero two one. like both these things will evaluate to that and it will actually be a whole square because this is also 2020 into 2021 and this thing is also the same thing right basically it's sum of first 2020 natural numbers in two different variables but yielding the same result so actually for that this will be like n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square so this thing is squared as well as the 2 in the denominator also gets squared and a half comes here so this actually becomes 8 so this is your final expression for s1 okay So guys I hope now it's time to little bit see what the options are trying to say so let's go to that Okay so actually I noticed that everything has been asked for 2s1 okay so actually 2s1 will be this thing by 4 You can see the options right now So guys first option is that 2s1 is a perfect square so very very true right This thing is obviously a perfect like square, and four is two square. So A option is very very true. Next option says two s one is divisible by forty three square. Okay, so forty three square, right? So actually two zero two zero into two zero two one by two. We can actually simplify this to be one zero one zero into two zero two one, right? So this is your like two s one, this value, okay. Okay, I am actually sorry. This is not one zero one zero into two zero two one is not two s one. This thing's whole square is your two s one, okay. This was actually also squared. Okay, so guys, actually two zero two one is forty three into forty seven. So forty three square obviously will divide forty seven will obviously divide so B and C are also correct, and at the last two s one is divisible by one zero one square. So if it is divisible by one zero one zero square, which is equivalent to one zero one square into hundred, so it is also divisible by one zero one square. So basically in question number two all the options are correct. Okay, all. Okay so I hope this question is done yeah Yeah so this question is done guys I hope you have solved this like this was really good okay really this question can come in your JEE advance and not pretty difficult also you should be able to solve this Anyways that's it for this video guys I hope you have liked this video if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe any recommendations do come out in the comment section and also with questions if you want and do follow and join my telegram discussion chat because a lot of productive stuff is being uploaded there and we are really gaining from it okay anyways that's it for today guys and next video will be out soon so thanks for watching